Hello people! I went somewhere this morning and I bought a lot more stuff than I intended to, which is what happens every time I go to this store. This is a Target haul! Okay, so Cartwheel got me the coupons on Cartwheel. It was like 20% off all clearance, men's and women's apparel, and then when I was checking out, some of the stuff wasn't clear. It wasn't like ringing up extra, like the athletic wear. So that was a kind of a bummer, um, but I'll show you all the clothes at the end. I, I didn't get like a ton of clothes, but I got enough to be like, holy crap, how did my receipt go from like a million dollars, zero to a million dollars? Anyway, let me show you what I got. Enough with the jibber jab. Oh. Hey, this is all of it, and that's my whole bag of clothes back there. I'll get to that. Um, I needed a couple green bell peppers. I went to Costco, and they didn't have any green bell peppers. They had a ton of the other colors, but I need green ones. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just need green ones. Um, this, I have never... Uh, the kids love smoothies. I make smoothies for the kids, but I figure, I don't know, I'll give, I'll try this out. I've never tried it out before. I do like this brand, the Ollie brand of vitamins. They like them too. Um, even though this time I went cheaper, the cheap vitamin route, I sometimes, I don't know, is saving money worth it? We're going to find out, <laughs> but uh, we'll see how that tastes. And then I also bought this. I'm going to make some, um, uh, granola bars like homemade granola bars and, and I'm just gonna throw some of that in there and then I bought this matcha powder I've been hearing a lot about it um, I'm going to make some well I'm gonna make a whole bunch of stuff and I'm just gonna throw this in it particularly chia seed pudding I've been making that lately and loving it and I'm just I'm gonna try to throw oh, try throw that's what it looks like throw some of this stuff uh, in there and then also I'm going to make homemade uh, cookies for the kids for school and I'm also going to throw that in there too this is supposed to be good for I don't know energy balance and vitality hey to put it in three words there you go I got some vitamins for me vitamins for the kiddos and then some garbanzo beans the cookies that I'm going to make are also have garbanzo beans in them Mm -hmm. they're gonna be delicious I know how much you guys love beans when I put them in desserts uh, my black bean brownie recipe didn't get much love everyone was like oh, black bean brownies um, anyway I also make like a faux tuna salad with garbanzo beans it is killer I love it husband loves it everyone loves it this is downy wrinkle releaser I normally make this from scratch just with like it's seriously so easy with like a little bit of liquid downy and then a little bit of alcohol and fill the rest of the spray bottle up with water but I don't think I have any liquid downy so I just bought this I I don't know I don't know husband loves it because and I love it because I don't have to iron I used to iron everything so now thanks to that I don't got some Lara bars you guys know I can't go to Target without getting Lara bars even though I recently bought a huge honking thing like 16 bars from um, Amazon it was on crazy clearance it was like ten dollars for 16 bars Wow, it was crazy but these are my other favorite I was about to say scents but favorite flavors love the mint chocolate chip pop this in the fridge and oh my gosh it tastes like a York peppermint patty you guys are gonna love it and then um, this is cho chocolate chip brownie um, that's more for the kiddos than for me and then I oh I went to Target this is empty I went to Target to buy some of these but they don't have them last time I bought them online and I seriously guys I'm obsessed this might be my new Lara bar like that's a pretty bold statement for me to make. I'm making bold statements and it's just, I don't know how true it is. But I really, really love these. They don't sell them in store, but um, yeah, I will be buying them from online because why not? I also got, hello girls. I also got some Method soap. We are like literally out of it for like three days. So um, that will stay under my sink for the next time we're out. And I also got this. This is like their new, oh, hello, Falcus. This is their new Scents Palm Garden. It basically smells like fresh cut grass or something like that, but the bottle looks pretty fun, doesn't it? Um, I don't know what obsessed, what obsessed me, what possessed me to buy this stuff. So my hair, I don't know, after my, I used to have pin straight hair and after each pregnancy, my hair in the back has been getting like more and more wavy and it's just weird, right? It's, the front is straight, the back is wavy. It kind of reminds me of a mullet, but not really. <laughs> um, so I got this in hopes that it like, I don't know, helps define my waviness. There you go, now it's focused. I don't know, and they also had a coupon like, 
Um, well, I had a coupon from my beauty box, $3 off, but I had to spend a certain amount of money, so I bought this as well. This is my favorite toner. I keep trying new toners, but I always go back to this one. It's, it's lovely, and the scent is nice too. It's like a cucumber scent. I think it's, I don't know if it's cucumber, but um, I love the scent. I love the way it makes my skin feel. And this is my absolute favorite toner. And then I got this. Oh, what was I saying about the coupon? I had to spend $15, so I bought that. And then, um, I don't know, they were having, oh, oh, if you spend like $15 worth on products, then you get a $5 gift card, which is why I also got some of these. The kids go through these, you know, the kids need them for school and stuff. And then I also got the dry shampoo. I've never tried the Herbal Essence brand before. I normally get the Baptiste for uh, brunettes, but um, I couldn't find it. I don't know, my target is like changing everything up. So this was right next to that and I thought, hey, why not? And that scent, ooh, oh my gosh, focus for reals. White grapefruit and Mosa mint. I, I don't know, it sounds different, so maybe I'll like it. And then um, Wentworth is really congested. So I asked the pharmacist, like, what can I do for his congestion? She's like, well, not much, because he's a baby. So um, she suggested these, I don't know, but is this only to put in his nose? Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, am I supposed to put this in his nose? Because his congestion is in his chest. I don't know. I also thought I bought Vicks uh, rub for babies, but I don't see it here. I guess I didn't buy it. I must have put it back on the shelf. Um, I also really like uh, putting, they sell like Vicks uh, tablets that you throw in the shower and that like steams the room up and it's supposed to help too. I don't know. We did that when he was a baby and that helped. Um, anyway, the, and then I, again, I don't know why, what possessed me to buy this as well, but uh, doesn't this look cool? This just looks cool. Target has cool looking stuff and sometimes, oh, I'm trying to open it, but it's like zippered closed. So this is just a bag. This was free if you bought three items and I was like, well, we do need band-aids. So I got these band-aids. They're not fun, but they're all the same size in the, some of the other boxes of band-aids they have like you know a variety of sizes and then there's like teeny tiny ones that I never use and just end up throwing away because oh come on please I need like a normal size band-aid so I got those I also got this I always like to have this anyway it's the foaming liquid stuff just you know if the kids get something whether it's um, just, you know, in their head, I'm like, oh, let me put something on it, make it feel better. And, you know, something like this is always good. I also have a spray that I love to use too. And then this just rolled gauze, you know, always need to have that in the, you know, first aid little tub that we have. Um, and then just some milk and I will lay out all the clothes in here and show you what I got. Okay. So here are all the clothes. Exclu excuse the toys, the kids, they have a playroom and a bedroom, but apparently that's base is not big enough they always migrate into the living room okay so one by one um got this it's a cute little purple i don't know top and this was 12 dollars, and then um 20 off of that i got this i might return it i don't know i haven't tried any of this stuff on excuse my bare feet um but this is a dress how cute is this i'm okay so i'm not like trendy it has like that peeky boo shoulder i don't know if i can pull it off i feel like i can't um but this was 12 dollars, and then with the 20 percent off and this the c9 stuff was not extra 20 percent off um but I do need new workout clothes. I feel like I need to say something about clothes. I'm like postpartum. I'm not back to my pre-pregnancy weight, but I'm not like the stuff that I bought um, postpartum like doesn't fit me. It's too big. So I'm like in between. It's such a weird thing. Um, how much was this? It's five, five dollars. So like, I feel like that was a good deal and I do need new workout stuff. This I think is perfect. It's like lighter weight. That one's a thicker. So I'll use that for like yoga and stuff, my lighter days but this I feel like is good. This one was $8.48. Oh my gosh, this I got for Wentworth. How cute is this? Let me show you. It has like dinosaur on the back and then that's the front. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I was like, what? That is the cutest thing ever. And I don't have a, a sweater for him and that was $7. So we'll see if it fits him. And if it Fits him now. It might not fit him when it's actually winter, so I might have to return that as well. Um, just got some workout leggings. Mine are like, they're getting worn. They're getting worn, people. I haven't bought new workout stuff in a long time. And this was, oh, $10. And that, the workout stuff, wasn't an extra 20% off. Did I already say that? And this too, this was $6. So I feel like it's like a running shirt, like one of those, um, what's it called? Tech, tech gear? No. I don't know what it's called, but it's like that running material that like doesn't hold in the heat. So I really like it. And then this is so cute. 
I've been looking for a shorter black skirt like this. All of my black skirts are super long and I like wearing skirts because um, it's so hot here in Florida. So that was $12. And then this one I pulled out, it's a medium and I thought I got a small. Uh, so this might be too big on me, but how much was this? $9.98. And I feel like maybe I looked at the small hanger and the actual shirt was an extra small. So I may, I mean, I obviously grabbed a medium, but I don't know. We'll see how that stuff looks on me. Okay. And now I'm like fully sweating. I don't know why our air conditioning is on. I'm just, I'm that sweaty girl. That's a terrible thing to say about myself. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my gosh. And I'm, am I in focus? Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and watching what I got. I seriously don't want to go shopping for like the rest of the year. I'm done as far as like back to school and groceries go. I'm like, no, no, I'm staying away from the stores for a while. So hopefully this is the last uh, like haul I do aside from groceries because obviously I need to go grocery shopping. Like eventually, you know, we can't just run on no food. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks so much for hanging out guys and I'll see you next time. Bye. Got a couple bonus clips for you. I'm actually going to show you, uh, like try on the clothes uh, so I can get your opinion. Here we go. Okay, so this is the shirt. It's very long. I think it's supposed to be very long. Can you, can you even like see the whole thing in frame? Here I am, but like, I mean, it'll be good when I wear leggings. Let me try the skirt on with it. All right, what do you think? Is it cute? Can you dig it? Do you like it? I don't know, I like the skirt. I like where it hits and I like, most importantly, that it is flowy. All right, here's the purple top. I like this one. I like where it hits, not with this skirt, but um, I like the color. It's like fall inspired, but yeah, it's cute, right? Okay, so this is a no-go. I am not like, I just feel like this is not my thing, the whole cold shoulder deal. Not to mention that, like, it's a little, little, and then in the back, I always wear sports bras, guys. I can't, I wouldn't, what kind of bra can you wear with this? I don't, sorry, this is a no-go. Okay, I don't know about these. The leggings, if you can see, they're, like, super tight. They're even tighter than, like, my workout leggings. Like, I don't know, I love the color. I just, I wouldn't be able to work out in these. I would have to definitely wear something where it would like cover my bum. Now this top, can we talk about this slit? It goes all the way up in my armpits, I feel like. Maybe if I could like sew them down right here, but let's be realistic. I'm not gonna do that. It's a shame because I really like the color and I like how it like, you know, goes down below, but it's a no-go. I think both these pieces. I've got to go out of the bag. So I don't know, again, about this top. I like it. I like that it's looser. I like the material. Um, but the back, hello. Like, is it supposed to show your sports bra? Cause it is like a workout top. I don't, I don't have like cute sports bras though. So I also feel like maybe this has got to go back. I do like the color. I like the fit and I like how it feels, but I don't know about all that, right? Anyway. Um, this shirt, I'm not feeling it. I'm pretty sure this is an extra small. I'm not quite an extra small anymore. So, um, it's just, it's too tight and I feel really constricted in it. If I were to work out in this, I would, I would sweat more because it's, it's already making me hot. So, another no-go. Ah! Oh, okay, I'm seriously like sweating. Oh. That was a workout in itself, just trying those clothes on, trying to like hang out with the kids and be like, hey, hold on, I'm gonna try some clothes on. This is why I don't try clothes on in the store. But then I always feel bad like bringing half the stuff I bought back, but what are you gonna do? I always bring it back in like a timely fashion, or at least I like to think that I do. Anyway, thanks again for sticking around to the end. Hey, if you stuck around this far, hmm, is there a clothes emoji or a hanger emoji? Let me look. Oh, you know what? Just do the target emoji, the like bullseye emoji. If you stayed this long, show me that in the comments. Thanks again, guys. Bye.